All right, in this example, we're going to find a, an equation for a hyperbola and a bit of a word problem here. So the idea is we've got a ship, and the path of the ship can be described by a hyperbolic model that's centered at the origin. And that's going to be relative to two stations on the shore that are, are 168 miles apart. And those stations are lo located at the foci. So if the ship's 60 miles south of the center of the hyperbola, we want to find the equation of that hyperbola. So, okay, um, I guess a couple things here. Again, we know that it's centered at the origin. That was, you know, we were, we were told that. I know that it's either going to open, you know, to the left and to the right, or, you know, it's going to open up and down. Well, again, we're told that the ship is 60 miles due south of that, that center, well, the only way it could be 60 miles due south of the center is if our hyperbola opens upwards and downwards. So already just based on that, it tells me that um, you know our, our, our hyperbola is going to look like this. And that's useful because that already tells me you know, the form of the equation that we're going to use. Okay, so I know that this is going to be of the form y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. So now what we need to do is, you know, just deduce the values for a and b. Okay, so, well, we can do that. We're told that the ship at some point is 60 miles due south of the center. Well, if it's 60 miles due south of the center, it's really going to be uh, sitting at, at a vertex. Okay, so we could label this as the point 0, comma, negative 60. Correspondingly, um, the other vertex would be at 0, positive 60. But again, the distance from wherever it's centered to one of our, uh, to, to, to a vertex, that's going to be our a value. So already we know that a equals 60. Okay, so we're, we're told the other bit of information, too, that the foci were... Where'd it go? 168 miles apart. It's on there somewhere. We're told that the foci are 168 uh, miles apart. Well, if we take 168 and divide that by 2, uh, we're going to get 84. So that tells me, you know, from the center, if I go down 84 units, I'm going to be sitting at one of my foci. And likewise, if I go up 84 units, I'm going to be sitting at another one of the foci. Okay, so again, though, that distance from wherever it's centered to one of the foci, uh, we label that as C. So our C value here is going to be 84. And again, we set our A values equal to 60. Again, well, we know A. The only thing that we, we're missing is the B value. That's what we need to figure out. Well, C is going to help us do that because we have that equation. It says that C squared equals A squared plus b squared. All right, so now we just start filling in. So it says, well, we've got 84 squared equals 60 squared plus b squared. 84 squared is 7056. Uh, 60 squared is 3600. If we subtract 3600 from both sides, that'll leave us with 3456. And hey, we've, now we've got our value for b squared. So really, we've got everything we need for our equation. So it says we're going to have y squared over a squared. Again, a was equal to 60. So 60 squared, we said, was 3,600. And then we're going to have minus x squared over b squared. But again, we said b squared was equal to 3,456. We'll set that equal to 1. And now we have the equation of our hyperbola.